so I figured I would make a video today, um, and I figured it's really, really important, and it's just basically going to cover a lot of the reasons why people um, end up having failures with losing weight, why a lot of people don't keep the weight off once they do lose weight, why it's so difficult to lose weight in the first place, and the things that you can do that are so simple that will make a huge difference in your weight loss. And I'm not talking maybe two or three pounds. I'm talking about losing your weight, getting to goal, maintaining that weight, and keeping it off for good. Um, so I'm just going to tell you guys some of the things that you can do to help yourself continue losing weight, to keep from getting on a plateau, and to maintain the weight that you do lose. So here we go. One of your biggest mistakes is skipping breakfast. When you eat first thing in the morning, it not only boosts your metabolism, but it gives you a good start for the rest of the day. So instead of just grabbing a coffee and heading out the door, um, have, you know, a, a small bowl of cereal, some oatmeal. Um, even if it's just like a small bagel with some cream cheese on it that's low fat, it's better than not eating anything because when you skip breakfast, you not only fail to start boosting your metabolism as soon as you wake up, but you're also setting your up for fail yourself up for failure later on in the day. That breakfast with you skipped is going to make you a heck of a lot hungrier at lunch, and as a result, you're way, way more likely to binge and eat way more calories than you ever intended. Number two, you eat late at night. Eating late at night not only makes it more likely that you're going to go over your da daily calories, but at night is when your body starts to slow down, especially metabolically, so that you digest food slower when you're about to go to sleep. So, if you're really, really hungry late at night, instead of going to grab a bag of chips or another carbohydrate, the best thing to eat at night is protein because it's not only more complex, but it's going to take your body a lot longer to break down. You might be eating all of the right foods, but in not the right portions. Are you, you know, taking a huge thing of fruit, a container that's maybe this big? A serving of fruit is about the size of your fist. Actually, a sizing in most foods, a, a good serving size at least, is generally the size of your fist and not much bigger than that. And it's that size because generally, this is actually about the size of your stomach, really, which isn't very big. So when you add all that extra food in there, well, what do you think is going to happen? You may be on a diet, and I hate using that word because diet in the end is only something short term. Programs like Jenny Craig and LA Weight Loss and other plans are great until you stop eating just their food and you have to start eating your own food and figuring out how to maintain your weight. When you want to lose weight, you need to make it a lifestyle change, which means Starting to eat fruits and vegetables and lean protein and understanding what's good for your body and what's bad for your body. Understanding the right serving sizes. Exercising. These are things that should constantly be a part of your life. And when you're just having microwave meals all the time that are already made for you, what happens when you go back to eating normally is you haven't learned the things that are going to make you successful in maintaining your weight. The reason why I was so successful on Weight Watchers was because it not only taught me portion control, but it taught me the importance of water and fruits and vegetables and getting enough protein in and multivitamins. And these are all things that you're going to need for the rest of your life if you want to be able to maintain a healthy body weight. Alright, so hypothetically you get to goal or close to goal. And a lot of people when they get to their goal weight just go back to eating the way they wanted to before they had lost all the weight. Well, that's kind of counterproductive to all of the work that you put in beforehand, and what do you think is going to happen when you go back to eating the way you were before? You're going to gain all of the weight back. 
you may be failing to plan for your week. One of the key ingredients to weight loss is being able to plan for things. So, for example, if you know that you're going out to dinner, you know, the night before, then go on that restaurant's website, check the nutritional information, and figure out what you can have that is going to be able to fit in with the rest of your day. Or, in the alternative, you should be planning out your lunches and your meals for the week so that you already know what you're going to have, and it makes it a heck of a lot easier to stay on plan. Even just getting up the night before, quickly packing your lunch, and then you can just grab it when you head to work. Well, you have no excuse to go to that vending machine and buy a chocolate bar. You have no excuse to go to a fast food restaurant and pick up some McDonald's. You already have your lunch right there, and it makes it so much easier to stay on plan because you don't have to sit there trying to figure out what you're going to eat for the rest of the day. Finally, the biggest thing is people want weight loss to be rapid. They just want it to come off overnight. Well, like the old saying is, you didn't put it on overnight, so it's not going to come off every night. And when you watch shows like The Biggest Loser, where people are losing 10 pounds a week, that's because their entire day is devoted to exercise and eating well all day. That's all they do is work out and eat well. Well, the average person doesn't really have that time to be able to do that. And a healthy weight loss is anywhere from zero to three pounds a week, maybe two pounds, and any more than that, you shouldn't be losing. It's just not healthy. This is different, of course, when you first start off on a weight loss program because that is generally when you lose the most weight. You drop a lot of water weight, um, and that's mostly what it is. So other than that, there are a few exceptions, but for the most part, you should only be using zero to two pounds a week. I get so many people asking me, how long did it take you to lose the weight? How can I lose this weight in a few months? Well, if you lose that weight in a few months, 90% chance that you're probably going to gain it all back plus some. So if you're losing an average of 0 to 2 pounds a week, then you're doing pretty good. Alright, and I guess absolutely finally, one of the most important things, people get really, really motivated and are really excited about losing weight and they think they're doing well at the beginning and then they get to a plateau and they give up, but that is part of losing weight and keeping it off. You are going to hit plateaus. You're going to have weeks when you gain and I still have weeks when I, you know, gain two or three pounds. I mean, over Christmas, I gained about nine pounds. And if I had just given up then, I would probably be, you know, somewhere around 150. But um, the important thing is, is when you start to see yourself downward spiraling, or when you get a plateau, stop thinking negatively. Think, okay, well, I've gained this weight. What am I going to do to get it off? How am I going to challenge my body in new ways to be able to lose the weight that I have gained or push it past maintaining my weight, which is what I don't want to do right now? So these are basically some of the reasons why so many people have difficulty with losing weight and keeping it off for good. And I'm hoping that by sharing some of this with you, um, it will help you in your weight loss journey if that's what you're trying to do, or maintain weight if you have already lost the weight that you wanted to. So until next week, um, or until my next video, I don't know which will come first, um, I hope that this helped, and I'll see you guys next time.